Uh, hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this video, I'll talk about a uh, uh, new agent inside Sparrow, which uh, is able to run a uh, multimodal LLM, Lava 1.6, uh, running locally on top of Olama and executing it through Lama index. So the idea is that uh, you should be able to pass a document, uh, which is a scan document, uh, image document, and uh, with multimodal LLM you should be able to extract uh, data from the image document directly without uh, running uh, uh, it through OCR, initially getting text and then passing this text to the text-based LLM, like uh, Mistral or uh, any other uh, LLM. And yeah, so to uh, to run this uh, agent uh, in Sparrow configuration, I have specified uh, LLM for this specific agent, uh, which is Lava 13B. Uh, and then, if you look into the example, uh, here we execute uh, uh, Sparrow through command line. The same request can be executed through API, and they pass uh, field names to be extracted and types of those field names. And then I specify the agent uh, v llama index. So this, this means just the short name for the visual llama index in this case. Then we load uh, llama multimodal. Then we load uh, image documents, sample ones from this uh, sample uh, document directory from the data. Then we build dynamic response class based on uh, field names that were specified uh, here in the prompt. And then we pass all the job to, uh, to LLM, uh, Lava 1.6. And then as soon as the response comes, then uh, Lama index is trying to enforce the response to be in a JSON format. And here we get back the response, uh, raw response, and then we are getting back actual JSON response. So in this case, we got get guest number 43 and cashier name Bob. And if you double check with the original document here, we can see that uh, guest number is 43, which is correct, but cashier name is uh, Sergio, which is not correct. This means in this case, uh, Lava LLM hallucinates and uh, it's just uh, making up the answer for the cashier name and pr uh, producing some uh, just uh, incorrect answer in this case. Uh, but this could be solved, I think, because current uh, Olama version I'm running, uh, it's not yet, uh, uh, it doesn't contain updated uh, Lama CPP library, and la latest Lama CPP li library will be included into the uh, next uh, Olama version, and with this new Lama CP library, it seems like, uh, based on what I saw reported on GitHub, the execution of the Lava and responses of the Lava uh, LM should be much better quality, so we'll, we'll test it out then. But in any case, the uh, pipeline and this agent uh, works already, so as soon as the better or fixed implementation is available, we can instantly test it out. Okay, and if you look for the code, so all the code is inside single script, vlama index, and again the script is executed as the agent and you need to pass uh, minus minus agent vlama index as a name. And here we have the uh, class that extends from the Sparrow interface and then we implement abstract method run pipeline here, pass the, all the standard inputs like a query, for example. So the query will be constructed in this case uh, from the field names and it will say retrieve uh, these field names from the document and this is how LM will try to fetch the values. And the types, uh, type names will be used to build a dynamic pedanti class and we'll use this dynamic pedanti class to inform uh, Lama index how to structure the output so that we would uh, expect to get structured JSON output. Okay, so uh, if you look at the actual agent pipeline implementation, so in the first step we using uh, Olama multimodal, this is the Lama index implementation which can work with uh, local Olama models uh, running uh, uh, multimodal LLMs like Lava, for example. Then in the next step, we load sample images here, and then we build the uh, dynamic uh, pedantic class with the uh, types that uh, and field names that we would expect to be returned returned in the response. Then there is a template for Lama index which says that please return the answer as a pedantic object as uh, we provide and. Uh, 
Actually, we provide this pyrantic schema as a dynamic class in this case. And then we're using multimodal completion program from Lama index where we specify output parser, which points to the Pedanti class, image documents, then a specified template, and actual LLM model, which comes through Olama multimodal. And through that program, we, uh, we execute the program and we pass the actual query, the question that we want to retrieve, and then we get, get back the response. And in case the response is successful, there is no exception then we print it out here and just uh, log the time. So this is what was reported over here. And yeah, so that's it. And this is the quite straightforward thanks to Llama index. And uh, hopefully uh, 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 multimodal requests uh, on top of Lava will be running better in the next uh, Llama version uh, where uh, Llama CPP is updated to the next version as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.